and we are exactly at learn and this is exactly where we want to be so let's go ahead and click that baby learn it's our first lesson we'll click first lesson right here and play all right so we're gonna go ahead and learn Ooh, a little low on the sound so hopefully you can hear me uh, so hey it's telling us here that bridge has four players so one two three four okay cool and north and south are partners west and east are partners they're going to show us that Let's see why you while we play you'll be called south so those who are actually have opened up the app and are following us as we do this you will always be south when you're playing this video or playing this game cool and your partner is called north great okay and they sit straight across from you from the table okay sat we're south we're north south we're a team north south we're a team and our opponents east west ding, ding. they are also a team okay so we got that established north south a team west east a team these are your cards thank you for telling us that <laughs> Okay, now they're going to tell us to tap the ace to select it. And now tap it again to play. So this is sort of an insurance, I guess you could say. Because if we tapped it and we tapped the wrong card, we can always change our mind and go back to another card. Because to choose that card to be played, we have to tap it twice. And here's the second time. That's the second time. Great. There we go. Great, you just let a card... And, and everyone else played one card going clockwise around the table. So we played our first, which is the Ace of Hearts. And then we went to West. They played the Two of Hearts. We went to North. They played the Three of Hearts. We went to East. They played the Four of Hearts. And hey, we all played one card. That is called a trick. Ah, when everyone has played one card each, that's called a trick. A trick is where everyone plays one card. Whoever plays the highest card wins the trick. Ah, let's guess what the highest card is. Yes, your ace was the highest card played, so you won the trick. Yay, our ace won. And here they're showing us that in bridge, ace is always considered the highest card, and two is always considered the lowest card. Okay. And, oh, they're telling us, here's a little tip here, that they normally deal out 13 cards each with no jokers, okay? <laughs> no jokers in there. Um, and they're telling us that because 13 times 4 does equal 52 cards, but they're telling us here, hey, but we are starting with just 5 cards each to learn the basics. So that's good to know. Hey, we don't need to have all those cards to learn the basics. Let's just start off with a few. Okay, now, they say they're telling us to play the Ace of Spades to start another trick. Remember to tap it once to select it, then tap it again to play it. So, I'll tap it once, I'll tap it twice. Okay, we're good there. Good, you won that trick too. Woohoo! So, won it again with the highest card. The goal of the game is for our team to win as many tricks as possible. Our team is... I'm south, my partner's north, okay? Tap anywhere to advance to the next trick. So they're just been telling us, you know, sometimes they'll put a, uh, a note down here saying tap it, but really you can just tap anywhere. Like for instance, I'm gonna tap over here. There we go. Since you won the last trick, you played the first on the next trick. So since south won the last trick, they get to start out with another card. They get to play another card first. They're the first one to play it. And, uh, oh, I'm going to tap over here just for the heck of it because showing you. There we go. And our lesson, our rule number one of Tricky App Bridge or Tricky Bridge App is the winner of a first or of a trick plays first on the next one. Let me say that again because I kind of muttered it. The winner of a trick plays first on the next trick. 
they can lead any card from their hand. So South has won this one. That's rule number one. And now they get to play any card they want. Uh, normally, we can choose our own card, but again, they're teaching us how to play. So they're telling us to go ahead and play the five. We tap it once. We tap it twice. And our partner won up here. Cool. Your partner, me, won the trick. When they say me, the name of uh, our partner is Tricky Bridge, but we're, we're saying North for right now. Your partner, me, won the trick. That counts for our team. So it doesn't matter whether South wins it or North wins it. It counts for the team. And it says the trick counts for our team if either of us wins. Okay. Oh, I just said that, didn't I? Reiteration. Now, we can monitor our team's tricks up here. Remember, our team is South, you, and North, me. So we can see here, North, South have three tricks. Three tricks. Okay. And we can, we can kind of go. Remember, the first two tricks were by South. They won. And the last trick was by North. They won. So that's why we got three to zip. Let's play the rest of the deal and win at least one more trick. Okay. So our partner who had won the last trick came out with a king of spade, hearts, or I'm sorry, king of spades. They played eight. And they said, to give us a hint here, here, your partner is already winning this trick for you. So which card should you play? So they're basically telling us, hey, there's no need for you to play a high card because your partner is already winning this thing. Uh, you can just play low because you're playing as, as a team. Okay, win at least. Hey, we won at least one more trick, and we have successfully done that. And we gave ourselves an opportunity, tap once, tap twice, to win the second trick. Yay, look at that. Five tricks up there. And they always give you, well done, partner.